Come bless the Lord, all you servants of the Lord, you that by night stand in the house of the Lord. Lift up your hands towards the sanctuary and bless the Lord. The Lord who made heaven and earth give to you his blessing out of Zion. Thus may the Lord Almighty, our God and Saviour, grant us a quiet night and a perfect end. For our help is in the name of this Lord, who made heaven and earth. As we come to the end of this day, we acknowledge our need of forgiveness. And so together we say, Most merciful God, we confess to you before the whole company of heaven and one another that we have sinned in thought, word and deed and in what we have failed to do. Forgive us our sins, heal us by your Spirit, and raise us to new life in Christ. Amen. With the confidence that our requests are answered, we say, before the ending of this day, creator of the world, we pray that you with steadfast love would keep your watch around us while we sleep. But before we sleep, we long to hear from God in his word and tonight we listen to Psalm 92 verses 1 and 2 which say, It is so lovely and pleasing to offer our affirmation to the Lord and our exalted God to sing your praise for all that you are and have shown yourself to be, to proclaim your steadfast love to us every morning and every night make known your enduring faithfulness. In these two verses, the psalmist celebrates the person, the work and the words of the Lord. Above all, he revels in our God's awesome and loving commitment to his children. This should be as he recognises our daily delight. Lord of the ages and of heaven's widest expanse, Father of your children, overflowing in love, unchanging in your commitment, we cannot cease to sing your praise. Abide with us, Lord Jesus, for the night is at hand and the day is now past. As the night watch looks for the morning, so do we look for you, O Christ. And so may the Lord our God Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, bless us and watch over us. May the Lord make his face shine upon us and be gracious to us. May the Lord look kindly on us and give to us his peace.